guys, welcome back to the vlog. As you can see, we got our trusty Ranger with us today. And I got my boy Quinn. And that's because we're gonna knock out some new bits for you guys. If you tuned into the last video, you saw us throw the MagnaFlow exhaust on here. And it's been great, sounds amazing. Shout out to MagnaFlow. But today we got some more special parts for you from- I'm very excited, RTR actually. So these are, these are proper parts for this truck. So one cool thing about RTR is I go way back with Von Gittin Jr., the proprietor of the RTR brand and the Fun Haver brand. He's a good friend of mine. He saw that we got a Ranger and said, you guys gotta have some RTR bits. So he sent us off a front grill with accent lighting, as far as I understand, as well as some over fenders. And from what I understand, they're fairly easy to install and they actually use all factory mining locations. So that's pretty cool. Sweet. So we're not gonna drill any holes in this bad boy yet. Yeah. As fun as drilling is, I'd like just simple bolt on the stuff. Yeah, this, I agree. This is something that everybody can install. If you guys have been following the build for a while, you know that our range actually has some raised wheels on it. And these are zero offset wheels, so they stick out just a wee bit. And that causes a lot of dirt and also the tire wet, honestly, that they put on the sidewall to be flung all over the side of the truck every time we drive it. It's pretty annoying. So those fender flares I'm looking forward to because they're actually going to serve a purpose for us. The front grille is mostly just for looks to be honest and to set this thing apart from all the other rangers on the street because there are a lot of them. I see a few every day I drive this thing. So setting this thing apart from the uh, rest of the crowd is super important to me and us. So we're going to go ahead and get cracking. Let's get these boxes ripped open. Let's go. RTR parts is they're basically like OEM. Yeah. Like yeah. this is an injection molded part. This isn't like, you know, metal grill inserts in the back. No cheap stuff here. Then we got and the trim piece that goes on so top. That's like a beauty ring that goes around it. Also, oh, it's texture coat. Oh, that is nice. And this black texture actually matches the factory black texture coat. Oh, shit. Nope. Yep. You installed it. It's installed. Oops. Let's check the front. <laughs> it's gonna update the look of the truck without changing it drastically. Yeah, I think the center vent design this went to RTR. Cool. Ah, the lights. So, I installed these same lights on our Mustang from RTR. And what was cool was, yeah, they have a T-harness essentially. So you literally plug your factory harness into here, you plug these lights into there. It's super easy. So it's literally just plug and play. You pop these in and you don't have to run any wires or anything like that, which is pretty cool. Makes the installation very simple and straightforward. All right, so you guys can get an idea how that all lays out. It's pretty cool. I'm excited the front of this truck is gonna be bonkers looking with all the lights and the Alpha X headlight daytime runners on it and everything. Yeah. It's starting to get Mustang vibes, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Very reminiscent of that, huh? All right, the other part that we wanted to add to the truck was the RTR over fenders because these tires actually stick out. And I'm told these are very OE style fender flare, not like a bushwhacker where you're sticking out three inches from the body. Looks like the cap for the front bumper quarter caps. <laughs> These are actually pretty big. <laughs> a little bit more aggressive than the factory for sure. That's the front clean. It's got a corner light on it. What's cool is these are like pre-finished. These are gonna be huge. Compared to the OE ones. Yeah. That's gonna be awesome. Oh, so they go up pretty high though. Oh bro. <laughs> it's perfect. There's a whole lot of rubber molding in here, body side molding, so that we can uh, make it look like a factory installation. Uh, so the first step to installing this is, it's a little bit like a molding, so it's actually gonna be a rubber seal that runs between the body of the car and the over fender here. So we have to install this, onto the inner lip of the over fender. We gotta do all four of them, and then from there we can install them onto the body.
Okay, Quinn went ahead and put the rubber finishing molding on, which is gonna allow this to sit against the body. And it also has a 3M uh, adhesive on the backside so that it'll stick the fender to the body. Uh, to prep for that, we need to wipe off the body with some alcohol to make sure that this stuff sticks really good. We also need to remove three screws from up here. I can feel them. They're just factory plastic uh, pop-ins. And then uh, we need to pop out our corner light, which should be readily available here, maybe. There we go. And so essentially this just is gonna pop into our new fender flare out here. It uh, really doesn't need to do anything other than dangle here for the time being. We can actually unplug it probably and pop it into that. Oh, we can just install this one real quick, huh? It's like, uh, dude, it's pretty much like factory, huh? I like that. It kind of makes it look lifted in the back, yeah. even though it's not. You wanna know what's cool? Is you can take this off tomorrow. If you don't like it, you can literally take it off. We didn't drill any holes. We didn't modify the chassis in any way. We need to remove the old ones. Yeah. They're still under them. So it's pretty cool. So if you wanted to revert this back to stock, just pop them off. It's super easy. They're not going anywhere. Man, really nice product. And now we don't have that crazy poke anymore, which is great. That's all. That's about, all time, cool. about time you got here to film us finish. Dude, that was the Thanks. quickest wide body install I've ever seen. I wasn't even there to speed the process Probably up. the nicest team. All right, now that we got the over fenders on from RTR, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the front grill. It isn't a huge departure from the factory front grill, um, but it is definitely an upgrade. It definitely looks a lot cooler and it adds the lighting, which is an option. You don't have to add the lighting if you don't want. I think it's gonna look cool paired with our Alpha Rex headlights. So we're just gonna knock this out real quick. Okay, we had this grill off to do our Alpha Rex headlights. One thing that I would recommend, especially if you have a Ranger, is to, if you're gonna do front end work, do it all at once, because this grill is kind of a pain in the butt to take out. You gotta remove all this shrouding to get to the tabs to release the bottom of the grill. If you're lucky like Quinn, you can drop the M8 hardware down inside. <laughs> I'm just removing these Torx fasteners off the factory grill so that we can reuse them to fasten the RTR grill to the new outer forward outer part that came with the kit. 
That's all of them, so we're gonna put them on here now. All right, so now we have the outer ring attached to the inner RTR grill. And uh, one thing I like is that they give this as two pieces and this is very similar, if not the same as the factory Ranger outer grill. And you can send this out for paint straight away when you get the product in the mail. Um, or if you're just gonna do it like we are, well, we're just gonna leave it raw because that's how our STX came. And one thing you don't have to worry about is when you paint this, you're susceptible to rock chips. With the raw plastic, you don't have to worry about it. And it is an OD finish, so I think it's gonna look sharp. It's gonna look like an upgrade to our STX grill uh, with the addition of the RTR lighting, which is pretty cool. So this is ready to go in and Quinn's working on getting the lights sorted. So this goes in first? No, so we actually have to install these speed clips right here. Okay, so flip that actually upside down. Or a jumper harness so you don't have to wire anything you unplug the headlight from the body harness plug it in plug it in and it just pretty much tags in the light very nice very oem style way wire an aftermarket unit <laughs> Quinn, just don't put a glove on anymore. Well, Quinn's farting around with gloves. I'm just mounting ballasts. Uh, used parts, but. Mm hmm. Indeed, you are. Are you sticking that thing, Mickey? In your keister? Down here, out of the way. <laughs> just down here. So it is right. The little. I can't see shit. Grab, a, grab a light in his back pocket. Can I reach in there? He likes his front pocket. Woo, front pocket. That's just uh, my flashlight. Yeah, so I mounted the light, the little ballast down here out of the way. So when you look in the engine bay, you don't see it. Keep the install kind of tidy. Uh, you can put it anywhere. They, they leave enough length or you can kind of put it wherever you like. It's a lot of lights. I already get flashed at night. People think I have the bright lights on and I don't. Headlights are actually aimed properly too. You guys didn't see in the, the Alpha X video, I actually spent like an hour outside after dark using the side of TJ's trailer from 20 feet back, aiming them to make sure I wasn't blinding people. People still flash me from across the intersection thinking I have the headlights on high beam. And then when I give them the high beam, they're like, ah! Pretty cool stuff. Uh, paired with our Alpha Rex headlights with the startup feature, it's pretty neat. LED, plug and play, literally no wires to run. You just put the lights in the grill, plug into your headlights, plug your headlight harness into the back of the RTR light harness, and you're off and running. So this literally got done in a half hour. If you know how to take the grill out, it's super simple. Uh, I think it's a much more stylish looking grill with this cool, I guess, oval grill section. These oval openings here, uh, and it's also allowing air in both of these sides as well, which the factory grill does too. This is just a lot more stylistic. Shout out to RTR. These are some dope parts. And also you can find these on throttle.com. We recently listed the RTR products on our site. So if you guys have a Ranger, a Mustang, or a few other Ford models, they do have some products available. And I think that this means we're probably gonna need to add some more of the RTR Ranger products to our truck. This was just sort of the uh, kickoff. Um, but I think the side grills and maybe some suspension would be pretty cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. Our Ranger's really starting to look cool. And uh, I think we're gonna pull it outside in the dark and check these lights out. <laughs>